Yeah, say hello to Mr. Uh, Paul Schaefer, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, everybody. Hi, David. This one, you know, I say everyone is a fresh pick, but this one is really a fresh, fresh kick. This one is great. Thank you, Paul. You know, uh, tonight is Thursday night. If you've watched this television program before, you must know by now that on Thursdays, uh, we read a viewer mail from actual viewers. Now, we often get uh, letters of people saying, aren't the writers really writing these letters? No. These are actual letters from actual viewers. Let's begin, shall we? Letter number one comes to us from Eric Brungart, I believe is the pronunciation. And Eric writes... Why haven't you had any mention of brine shrimp on your show? Are you guys fascists or something? Apparently, Eric has a lot of free time. No, we're, we're certainly not fascists. We, brine shrimp, uh, perhaps you're not familiar with them, uh, are, are sea monkeys, and we started uh, a, a colony of sea monkeys on this show a couple of months ago. They're doing pretty well. We have them right there. Just, uh, pretty well. For my, for my money, they're really the perfect pet. They just, uh, they have some brine shrimp there. I think we have a late night home game we're sending the man for writing that letter. Um, letter number two comes to us from, uh, oh, this is interesting. It says, Dear Dave, it would be fair to, it wouldn't be fair to the rest of America to deny them the experience of Aloha Day and the NBC commissary. Also, are those actual letters you read on viewer mail or do your writers make them up? And it's signed, Sincerely, the writers... NBC's Late Night with David Letterman. Now, this letter actually came to us from our writers, and I guess I don't need to tell anyone anywhere in North America that, of course, today here at the commissary was Aloha Day. So let's take a look at the videotape of the festivities up there on the seventh floor, Aloha Day in the commissary. Once again, the company went all out for decorations. Ah, uh, the Hawaiian luau. Boy, it's pretty well packed, isn't it? Those pineapples certainly look real, don't they? Uh, and there's some of our co-workers standing around. Let's get a look at the menu now, if we can. See what they're offering for Hawaii Day, Aloha Day. They have the South Seas Consomme, pineapple chicken, the Islander green beans, the reef carrots. How do I know that the reef carrots can't possibly be any good? Uh, just a hunch. There's the man, your host for the festivities. That's not Don Ho, is it? Now we're going around behind the steam table and take a look. Mmm, boy. Yes, sir. Let me have some more of that gray stuff, can I? Those, those must be the reef carrots we've heard so much about. And the Islander green beans. Uh, yes, once more. Go ahead, dip some more on there, will you? Oh, yes. That's Aloha Day in the commissary, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, and that was actually from the writers. We have uh, and a lovely plate of lovely plate of this stuff right here, and uh, I'm not going to touch it. We'll just feed that. Maybe the brine shrimp would like a little here, boy. They'll be dead by morning. Uh, this is a fascinating letter also. This comes from Joseph Mulholland, Glendale, Arizona, a lovely part of the country, I'm guessing. I was wondering about the late night intro where establishing shots of New York are shown and the theme is played when the camera pans up to that single lighted window. Where exactly is that? Well, Joe's referring to the opening montage, which you may have seen. I'll show you exactly where that window is. It's right over here. And another good question. I think we're getting some, just some great questions from the folks. Hi, Joe. Right over here. Kind of a video caper. <clears throat> uh, our final letter comes from Brian David Sterry, the law firm. Uh, Brian David writes, During the opening title of your show each evening, another question about the opening title sequence, your band leader, Paul Schaefer, points to something at the ceiling. It's quite obvious that for weeks now, this man has been trying to draw attention to something up there. <laughs> but your cameras fail to show us what it is. Brian David Sterry. I, I myself have noticed that, and I've never really inquired, Paul. Uh, is there something of significance to which you're pointing? David, I have been trying to tell you about this for weeks, 
I just haven't got a chance to do it because then we, you know, we got to play the the ending of the theme and everything. But yeah, there's, there's a nutty guy up there. There's a nut up there. It's TV funny man Joey Bishop. He's been up there. I don't know what he's doing up there. He, he won't come down. But he's just up there. I've been trying to point him out. Son of a gun. The strangest darn thing. Yeah, we're going to pause and find out more about this. We'll be right back with Commander Cody. <laughs> <laughs> 